very tiring week, so if I look tired, it's because I'm tired. As my mom would say, uh, a little crazy for trying to tackle all these projects. But we're very fortunate to have some good contractors. Unfortunately, they've been on top of each other. It's Friday. If you're in the business, you know contractors don't like to work on Friday. So I got one crew here doing some paint work and some touch up, but uh, it's been a very busy week. If you watch back the video less than two weeks ago, um, you'll see what it looked like. We didn't start anything until Monday of this week, and the changes have been miraculous. First, you'll notice our third section of building number two, which is the sh showroom number two, is completely painted. Columns are painted. Lights are in. And we're using it. So, as we said, this will be for basically brand new tow trucks and rollback delivery during the winter when we're in the snow. We want people to be able to come in and us go over their truck without the weather hindering us. We want them to take their trip back across the country or down south where they don't have to worry about snow in the warmth. Um, there'll be a wall going on here that was supposed to also happen this week. They just couldn't get in here. This week alone, we've had tree guys, painters, plumbers, roofers, pavement, concrete guys, uh, security guys doing the cameras and redoing the cameras as we mess them up on the progress. A construction company and our local tow guy which came and got our parking curbs out of the way that have been sitting there for 30 years and accumulating about this much dust and dirt which we had to shovel up by hand and yes I had to be out there doing it too so everybody's been working their butt off this week this area has been pretty much just a disaster of contractors on top of each other but just one of the sections here and it's amazing uh, turned out really good We'll take a little stroll over and we'll show you a couple of the other shots of what got accomplished. So we're going with the black and white theme on everything. You see the big old bay door there. It got painted. That took days by itself to get it coated right. Uh, small door went black. The trim went black. The area we were just in, that's going with the big black roll-up door as well. Of course, while the guys are over here painting, the concrete people showed up. We're running on a really tight time frame on concrete because of the weather here. We are in Virginia, for those that don't follow us locally. We are in November, coming up on Thanksgiving. It's usually cold and sometimes it's even snowed at this point of the year. Uh, so concrete doesn't go down good when it's too cold. So. They were in here, the painters were trying to work, the electricians were in here, but we made some great progress as you'll see from the last video. Tim can clip in a little uh, renewal for your mind, but this thing has been a junkyard storage for broken equipment for 30 years. Just shoved in, shoved in, shoved in. We got all of it out, then we started putting our stuff in here very prematurely. So it was also storage for us, then we had to clean all that out and get what you see now. Skylights are good. The beams went black. That's taken three or four coats there to prime and paint them. Uh, the doors have come in for this building too. You see those right there on that tow truck that AJ's moving around. Um, all glass with black, just like the show to match. And you see the front's all opened up now. We do have to remove those support beams and we do have to frame that out. But what you see open is going to be what is open when we're finished with this. So. Be a really nice glass show front. The fence has been painted, parking curves have been moved, the asphalt that almost didn't even look like asphalt has been cleaned up and cleared. Uh, so, a lot of progress across the street here. We'll catch a clip of the uh, side of the building, which that building over there is about 28 to 30 foot tall, it's 100 foot long. Uh, it had trees grown up against it and limbs, vines. Very happy with how things have been rolling along over here. We'll go out front and catch a clip of that and uh, hopefully y'all appreciate the work that's been going in over here because it's been monumental to say the least. So thanks for watching. We'll throw some clips in and uh, get ready to bring you some good content and some cool toys that have arrived also. So here we are. Big old 
little bar inside of a building here. Uh, people don't realize how big this building is. You could literally have a racetrack, go-kart track inside this thing. It's crazy. Now you can actually see it. Uh, these trees are what we call the north side. They were this big around. So, one, two, three, four, five, about six of them. The left were literally pretty much growing into the side of the metal. Uh, we got one piece of trim we still got to replace up at the very top there, which is fun because it's almost 30 feet in the air. Um, and it had to get three coats of paint. So, never been painted. The building was put up in the uh, 80s. So, you need to paint bad and suck the paint up, but we got it done. Uh, trees are down. Roof is cleaned and cleared. Roof guy went up there, checked everything, fixed a couple things. So, a whole lot of. Uh, what do you want? Not even on our property, as you can see, but we didn't have any choice. We had to clean it up. So it's done now. You'll see the before and after pictures. It was crazy looking. Uh, but we got it done. Uh, just one more step in the process to make this thing what it's supposed to be. So stay tuned. There's lots more to come.